Easy work boxing. About to hit you everywhere but under your feet with this one, y'all. Got a video for y'all, man. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Please hit that notification button because I've been checking my um, analytics. I've been seeing that people ain't been hitting that notification. Hit the notification button. If you like the videos, I'm going to keep one coming for you. Uh, also, if you like to donate, go to username and about. Go to PayPal. Uh, I apologize to my subscribers. You know, I ain't been on. I ain't sent y'all a video. You know, this uh, going without a job shit. You know, I told y'all I had to resign. This shit really be fucking with me. Sometimes I really don't want to make video. But then once again, I think about the people who love this channel and who love what I have to say. And I have to come back out here and give y'all what y'all want. And I just want to say I appreciate y'all and y'all give me the strength to keep moving forward and doing what I need to do for y'all when y'all send me y'all comments and stuff, man. So I just want to thank y'all for loving the channel and always being now for Easy Work. You understand me? I appreciate my uh, Easy Work boxing family, y'all. I thank y'all. But this is a video for Michael, I mean Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence, the press conference I just saw. And when I saw this part right here, y'all, I went to holler. I heard Errol Spence say that if he beats Mikey Garcia, he will he should be number one on the pound for pound list. What the fuck type of crack is Errol Spence smoking? What type of crack is you fucking smoking? First of all, and I ain't never said this, I gotta do this. I gotta give a shout out to Errol Spence for being a great, a good fighter. Represent down south. I haven't said that yet. You know what I'm saying? He he's a down south fighter. He's born and raised down south. I gotta get it. I gotta give him a shout out for that to my down south brother. You know, uh But for him to say that him being Michael Garcia, he deserves to be on the pound for pound list is the stupidest shit I have ever heard him say. Or anybody else say, or anybody who I haven't heard and agree with that shit say. First of all, you are fighting a guy that is smaller than you, okay? Out of your weight class, which we all can go and say nobody wanted to fight him, which I've showed and proved to y'all that was a lie. All right, that was a lie. All right, nobody wanted to fight him, this, that, and the other, right? But you are going to fight a smaller guy, Mikey Garcia. The only credibility that you might get is his name. You are supposed to beat him. You are supposed to beat him, Errol. This, this don't move you up in no way. You don't get nothing but a payday for this. And, uh, and when people in history look back at your resume and say, oh, he beat Mikey Garcia. But then somebody who really knows boxing, when they check and look at, oh, he beat Mike Garcia when he moved up two weight classes. That's why he beat Mike Garcia. Not taking away from, nothing from you if you go out there and beat Mike Garcia here. I will not take that win away from you. But my brother, you must understand that you are not going out there doing shit. You are not doing nothing to become great, my brother. You're not. You are fighting a man two divisions smaller than you, who true enough came at you, but you get nothing for it. You get a payday and a good name on your resume. You don't win no belt, and you most you you most definitely shouldn't get praise for this win because you are supposed to win. This is not two caliber fighters at the same weight class, same age, undefeated. Then, if you was fighting Keith Thurman, if you was fighting Sean Porter, Terrence Crawford, hey, all hands to you. But I still went, only way I say you should be no one pound for pound if you beat Terrence Crawford. If you beat Terrence Crawford, then you are the number one pound for pound. Being Michael Garcia only gives you a payday and a name on your motherfucking resume until somebody looks it up years later and realizes 10, 20 years from now, and they mention you, which I know you will be mentioned. You are a good fighter. Nothing negative to say about Aerospin, y'all. I just give y'all real deal boxing. That's it. 
None of this shit that y'all just came into. You know what I'm saying? None of this shit the media brings into the table now. You gain nothing. You don't get a belt. Nothing. You are fighting a man that is two divisions smaller than you, bro. You don't get no recognition for that. There's no way in hell you should become the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. When then we got another champion, uh, Yuzik, Yuzik at Cruiserweight, undisputed. And you gon' you number one before him, too? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Now, number three, maybe. Terrence Crawford, Music, and then you. But this, oh my God. One thing about Arrow I like, though, I like his fierceness. I like that can't nobody fuck with me attitude. And I, I, that's one thing, I, as I was sitting there watching them press conference, I said, you know what? I like this motherfucker. When they say, uh, when they asked him, like, do you think Mike Garcia can knock you out? He said, can't nobody knock me out. He said, I don't even think like that. I said, all right. I said, I like, I like this nigga now. I like him. I like him. You know, I, I, you have to, but in that sport, you know what I'm saying? You have to be cocky and arrogant like that. You know what I'm saying? You have to believe that you're the best. If you ever doubt yourself, you're going to get knocked the fuck out. So, you know what I'm saying? I have, I have come to understand why I haven't liked certain fighters. You know what I'm saying? Like Prince Nazim. I hated Prince Nazim. Uh, when I first saw Chris Eubank Sr., I didn't like him. Who else is a... Uh, Adrian Broner, I did not like him at first. Now, one thing that made me Adrian like Adrian Broner was his character outside of the ring. When I seen that he got Robert Easton and Rashid Wallace and brought them men in to get titles and he grew up and knew them... I said, that's a real dude. He just do the shit outside the ring, you know what I'm saying, to build his character, to make people hate him enough to pay for tickets. And that's all Adrian Broner do. You can't hate him for that. But I like that about um, Eric Spence, his uh, cockiness. Um, I like when he told Mike Garcia in the press conference, he said, uh, yeah, you be talking all that shit when you in California at your gym and shit, uh, but now you want to get on the stage with me and be humble. He said, I can't wait to uh, Saturday. He said, I'm tired of doing interviews. I'm tired of doing everything. I'm just ready to go out there and get at your ass to show you. You know, basically, he didn't say it like that. But basically, you know that's what he was saying. I'm ready to go beat your ass and get this shit over with. Which, if you beat him, Aaron, you were supposed to beat him. I mean, for the casuals out there, yeah, y'all going to be, oh, Aaron's the shit. Oh, Mikey Garcia, Aaron's the, Aaron's the shit. He was supposed to win, bro. He was supposed to. Man smaller than him. Weight is one of the biggest factors in fighting. I'm going to say that again for those that don't know boxing. Weight is the biggest factor in fighting. Okay? He's supposed to win. He deserves no recognition for this fight. None other than he beat a smaller Mikey Garcia. Damn, y'all. Come on with this shit, man. Come on. Even if you're a fanboy, man, y'all know I'm telling you the truth, bro. This is not Keith Thurman. This is not Sean Porter. This is not Errol Spence. Errol Spence hasn't moved up to 154 or 160 for a challenge. He should not be number one on no pound for pound list. Only credit that he gets is that he has a name now. And when history goes down and they read his resume on box rec or whatever years from now, whatever it may be from now, they're going to say he beat Michael Garcia, but then under that with a little right, and then they go back and check Mike Garcia's. Michael Garcia was a, uh, he came up two weight classes. What the fuck? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He don't, he don't deserve nothing for this fight, y'all. And that ain't me hating on him. You know what I'm saying? This is a black man with money. He taking care of his family real well. Me saying something about him don't hurt his feelings. He could give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy that he's able to live like that and support his family like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy for him. You know what I'm saying? This has nothing to do, but I just tell the truth with y'all. I just tell the truth. And he deserves no recognition. None other than giving Mikey Garcia a name if he, if he wins. Errol Spence would get recognition if he moved up. Which he needs to move up. 
Because y'all, he, he tell y'all all the time he is not supposed to be at 147. But hey, if he can make the weight, make the weight. But all I'm saying is, if you telling the world that you at this small, that you at this higher weight and you dropping down to fight smaller fighters, you deserve no recognition. Now, if you moved up to 154 right now, 160, even 168, praises to Errol Spence because he moved up and took a challenge. But when you are telling people that you weigh 180, close to 190, and you are dropping to 147 and beating up on 147ers, that's why you hit so motherfucking hard. Your weight. I had to be aggressive like this to make people understand. Because everybody, he punches so hard. He has so much punching power. The motherfucker is 25, 15, 20 pounds more, weigh more than his opponent. Your ass a goddamn drop too if he motherfucker hit you with a left hook with 20 pounds extra on it. This shit don't make no sense. This is how y'all know y'all casuals, man. There's no hating on this boy, man. Ain't no hating on this boy. And then, I don't even want to go into the steroid use. I don't even want to talk about that. When it's proof in the pudding with him, but I ain't going to even talk about that. Man, I can, and it's, hey, also this, y'all, it's like the whole world don't stop by this fight. Ain't nobody really ain't paying no attention to boxing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We just waiting on Saturday, which I can respect. I am too. I keep counting down. I'm like, is it Thursday? Is it Friday? <laughs> Motherfuckers come tell me. They be like, nah, it's Monday, bro. I about to say, this nigga come out every, side, every night with a rifle and shoot up in the trees and shit. I don't know if he's trying to kill squirrels. Well, it's nice. I ain't no goddamn squirrel at night. But he be getting on my fucking nerve with that. I don't like to see with niggas with guns around me. But, um, yeah, man. Mikey, um, Garcia. I like how Mike Garcia keeps telling him, like, I'm going to go out there. I'm better at him than this. And, and I can tell you that got on the other hair spin skin. <laughs> we kept saying, I'm better at him in all areas. And Mike, and that's when Arrow got, I think they got up under his skin in, but. I don't know how y'all feel, but like I told y'all in my videos, I'm not saying Mike Garcia will win, but I think he got a good chance of winning, y'all. I really do. I don't know why, because me knowing boxing, how I know boxing and that weight issue and the way that Errol Spence fights, come forward, strong fighter, I really don't see a Mike. I really don't see Mike Garcia being able to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? But... We just gonna have to see what happened, man. You know what I'm saying? This ain't a 50-50 fight for those that's thinking that. This is this uh 70 30. No, uh 80 20 arrow way. This is an 80 20 arrow way. See, I say a 90 arrow way. I say a 90. But if that boy go out there and beat Arrow Spence, man. I ain't going to say he deserved to be pound for pound at number one in the world. Because let me tell y'all something. Like I always tell y'all, Undisputed is a motherfucker. They don't, they don't recognize Undisputed like that no more. I don't know why. I guess Floyd fucked that up because he wasn't never Undisputed. But you can't jump over Undisputed fighters to be number one. I don't know where the fuck y'all getting that from. That's how I know there's a lot of casuals out here. Undisputed is, is the head honcho. That's... And to be a lineal champion twice? Man, y'all get the fuck out of here talking about some goddamn he finna be a number one pound for pound. What the fuck type shit is y'all smoking, man? Type of shit is y'all smoking. Y'all don't know shit about boxing. I ain't talking to my people in my channel because y'all, when y'all fuck with me, you learning. You know what I'm saying? And I'm learning every day too. That's all I watch is boxing. So that's how I'm able to get on here and tell y'all this shit. But the fuck a nigga jump from from being a regular champion to just being, to jumping over undisputed, two-time lineal, or just undisputed, period. The fuck? As a matter of fact, Tyson Fury is number three for him having that lineal title, for being um, Klitschko.
And anybody who don't know what the lineal title is, that's the belt that the man had. The king of the ring had. And if you went out there and you got them, then that means you beat the king of the motherfucking ring. The fuck y'all need to be talking about? Hey, look, man. This is Easy Work Boxing, y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please like and comment at the bottom, man. At the comment section. Debate at the bottom. We can talk at the bottom. Tell me how y'all feel. You understand me? If you like to donate, which I would truly appreciate because a nigga so po. <laughs> A nigga so po. But no, it's a real shit. If y'all would like to donate, go to username or about. I appreciate whatever y'all could donate, man. It don't it it could be 50 cent. I could look on there and I'm 50 cent. I'm I'ma still hey y'all. Shout out to the person who did that, man. But um most of all, take care of yourself, man. Worry about you. And make sure you okay before you can do anything for anybody else. You understand? Take care of your family, your kids, the people you love, and everybody around you, man. Y'all Pray and make sure everybody's safe, man. And you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's a cold world out here, man. You know what I'm saying? And I just thank y'all for taking time out to watch the videos, man. For me getting a chance to get a little sum of something I love to do instead of me, you know what I'm saying, hitting a clock and somebody standing over me, something that came out of my mouth that's off my knowledge and me to get a dollar off of it. I am truly blessed. And I thank y'all for supporting me and supporting this channel. And that's all I can say, man. Y'all just be safe and take care of you and yours, man. And I uh, I thank y'all for just fucking with me. And uh, I'm going to keep them coming for y'all. Easy work boxing them out.